Hi guys, welcome to this video. Arclex is not a project of a week, not of a week, not of a month, not of a year, but of years. There is Arclex, right? There is also Carly, there is also Riser, there is also, and that's the topic of this video, ALCI. So if you are ready for it, if you say yes, I would like to have something new, I'd like to learn something new, then there is ALCI.online. It's the combo of all the knowledge I got working with Arch, plus the combo I, uh, with the application I work all the time with is Calamaris. What if I mix them together and I don't want to go to in the terminal and type everything in and decide how to format things and all that, but what if I could have Calamaris and have a pure Arch Linux system plus Calamaris? So that's, that's the only idea. And then later on, we decided, hey, wouldn't it be nice if we would have an ISO that booted up with LTS, with Zen, with Linux hardened, with XAML kernel, so kernels. So there is lots of information in here and uh, we come back to it. Let's first get things rolling. So we're gonna clone there. So you have to make choices, right? We have one ready and it's already let's have a look go here so alci iso out it's the one without desktop pure is also one without desktop that makes it a little bit more difficult so hence this video this is a pure arch grub yes i replaced arch links with alci that's it okay so we boot up with arch Later on, I say, mm, I like to have something graphical, not a black screen like an arch. I would like to have SEM. Then I pass SEM through to something, a desktop, Mate, Cinema, Plasma, and so on. Here we've created our own desktop, which looks a bit strange. But if you're um, familiar already with DWM, that's basically what I've done. I've taken our Arclinks DWM, changed the name, and basically it's an ALCI DWM. So a different kind of app, uh, voila. And in here, very minimal thing, right? Because we want to end up with something very small footprint like. That's just one app that needs to be removed. If you install Plasma, you need to remove a lot of stuff. Here is just the one app that goes and done. So we get Calamaris the Arch Linux Calamaris installer. That's what it stands for. And you know the drill. This is default, right? In our brain, this is already hardwired. What should we click? What should we do? You choose. Read and choose and test and build up experience, I would say. And then you decide what you like best. Voila, we're off. Well, that's busy. We can have a look here. So ALCI online, what did we do? Well, first of all, let's follow the menu. We can build it on all kinds of things. The project is actually giving you the power to build your own ISO. That's what it's for. Yes, you can download it, but no, right? Articlinx B is the same thing. The approach is give you, the user, the power to build your own ISO with X on it and Y on it and Z on it and so on. So I've been testing this in all these, these guys and there are playlists here you can watch. The procedure is always the same. So if you follow a few videos, you get the drift and you say, oh, it's not that difficult. As you know, we share everything. So everything is online on GitHub. I get the building code from GitHub. What we're gonna show is this thing. An ISO for general public Linux kernel change pacman.conf, change the content of the packages, create your own ISO, no xorg. Well, that's not correct. I need to change that. Otherwise we wouldn't have this, right? Well, not that much, but it's not correct. So that needs to go. This is no xorg, this is black. The pure one is a pure arch and you go type your stuff in there. So xorg is present, SDM is installed and enabled, but there is nothing behind it. So you can't log into something because there's nothing there. 
So if you already know I'm going to install SDM, then this thing is not that bad, right? SDM is already there. You go to T2I and you just install whatever you like. All the differences are the kernels, right? Linux kernel, Linux kernel, yeah, cool. But at some point in time, we made videos how to create an LTS ISO, how to create a Zen ISO. And of course, here's the result. And to take, to make it a little bit different, right? SDM, SDM, Cinnamon, Cinnamon, Plasma. Um, so we played around with all kinds of kernels and so forth. All the code is here. If you say, this is too soon for me in my learning path, I don't get this, this is too difficult, you download first, come acquainted with it, and if you say, okay, later, that's that's something, definitely something, I wanna learn that later, right? And he would just had some fun after the videos. I kept rising and adding stuff and, and voila. Basically, it's an operating system that's rised. It's an harsh thing that's rised whatever it is, except CU Mate, doesn't really matter for us. And here we have the list of all the stuff that I've done. So this project, ALCI, is also part of how to build an ISO. So the arclexiso.com is the website where Carly is, and we send everybody to here. A comprehensive guide to ISO building, Carly, ALCI, Ariser, with all the videos I've made, you, can become over some years maybe right in between work life and so on right you can create your own iso or your own distro if needs be voila in this in the meantime right now this is fun for me so once everything is installed then the fun can start so remember xorg is there i'll just do an edit later sdm is also there this is new tada right i've given lci also a nice grub like i've done carly like i've done others so that's a new thing now pseudo pacma minus r carly grub and it's gone eh? that's not important the thing is this particular iso has nothing behind it so session what session SDM is going to look at user share accessions and he finds nothing, no dot desktop file. And then you'd get a drop down that has nothing. Okay. So what we do is a control in, in um, VirtualBox, write control F3 inside a real metal machine, control alt F1, F2, or 3 or 4 until you get something. And then you go for login. And as you see, we kept everything very arch-like. This is a text that we've got rid in Arclex. That's the default text you get in Arch. The mod D thing, if you're wondering, etc mod D. So, 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 what do I have? Pseudo Pacman minus, let's get a database in, right? Let's get everything in. What do we get in? Core extra community, couldn't be more arch-like. It's pure arch, multi-lip, there's no there. What else? What can we remove? What can we remove? Is there an x86 thingy? Yeah, just that. So no videos. Is there NVIDIA present? Nope, there's nothing NVIDIA present. Is there anything Carly present? There is nothing named Carly here. Arco. Arch, yes, but no Arco. Carly and ALCI. We have this ALCI grub theme that's now there. That's the nice black thing when you boot up, right? So if you want to remove it, be my guest, it's with an enter remove, but I'm kind of proud of it, so I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, <laughs> but there's nothing here. It's a pure arch thing. Um, you check other files and the most important things, it's not um, supposed to be any different than arch. Now, what we need, is something right and it's just a, your decision to say pseudo pacman minus s what will install oh yeah um maybe we should install deeping right so 
somebody mentioned today that deeping it is it does not seem to be broken <laughs> so voila why not deeping has been a while since i've watched that so i see also a deeping anything dkms i have the default linux kernel so i'm choosing number one if i would have zener or anything else maybe then i would have the, taken the ref reflex before two so check that out look at that let's see if that works now deeping also works i think with a light dm let's see what it does I could have chosen Mate, Cinnamon, XFCE, Plasma. I mean, there's there are like 30 desktops that we have on our clinics. You can have your own i3 config and throw that in. You can have your chdwm or your dwm, your own config, the dot files, get it in. It is entirely up to you. It's a clean slate. Besides SDM. Okay, so SDM is active. I don't need to do anything. No. What's the content now of user share accessions? Deeping desktop. So when I sudo reboot, SDM is going to read the content of user share accessions. He's going to see, oh, look, there's a file called deeping. It's going to put it in the list of SDM. And off we go. Avant la musique. Qu'on y danse, qu'on y danse. Tous en rond. Hein? For those who know. Deeping. Layout. US. Yeah, he doesn't know, but he knows. BE, my friend. There you go. A friendly reminder. Give me some effect. There you go. Control F. Let's see if it works. Mark links with made it possible that if you do control f it just gets big here we're gonna need to go to the control center just saw it and see if we can set our resolutions i hear it all as well now this deeping thing it sometimes takes a while for this to pop up sometimes you have to wait over the years We've called deeping our sick child, right? Sometimes it works and doesn't work. Then a bit something, a small bit doesn't work. You can log out or everything is white. It was always something. As usual, I, su I suppose something is uh, wrong with it. <laughs> but here it is. It's just deeping. That's all it is. Let's see if we can do a, a log out. Yes, log out. And then we have this. SDM. So SDM is still active. That's cool. All kinds of things. It's probably going to be a lot heavier if I install them on a real metal. But no. See that you work as well in virtual machine. These are all the packages not very much indeed file manager maybe and do we have a terminal we have xterm and uxterm true and i think i have installed neofetch nope i haven't straight up pacman minus s as you see nothing is themed and tweaked and this is these letters are way too big and, and well it's it's the way it is not the point rising you do it on your own by yourself 743 that's not a lot and we do have a desktop that doesn't work <laughs> all right guys what can i say if you like deeping download the official one and use that one all right cheers